forward to this. What's up everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I'm wanting to go over my personal top guns for each class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So currently there are four blasters in each class category, but I'm only gonna be going over the three that are able to be modified because the standard blasters on each class are all the same throughout each faction. They have pretty much the same stats and they just look a little bit different and honestly they're just not that good compared to the ones that you can modify so i'm not going to include them in this list but as always these are just my personal opinions so i'd like to hear your top guns in each class down below in the comment section so let's go over the first class which is the assault class now all three guns in this class in my opinion are great each of them work great on certain different maps so i personally feel like the a280 is the best assault weapon overall now the EL-16 is great for longer range targets, but not so great for up close combat because it has a slower firing rate, but it does a lot of damage so you can almost use it as a sniper with the dual zoom attachment. So if you're on a big map like Kray or even Geonosis, I think this gun, the EL-16 is the way to go. But if you're on a super close quarters map like the Death Star 2 or even the last phase of Naboo, the CR-2 can be an extremely deadly weapon because it has an extremely high firing rate. I believe it's the highest of any trooper gun in the game. I think it's actually fast than Captain Phasma's gun as well. But the problem with it is its recoil is absolutely insane. So trying to use this weapon at long range or even medium range is gonna be quite insane unless you fire at short burst increments. Otherwise, you're pretty much spraying and purring as you go. But in more confined maps, this gun is an absolute beast. But then here comes my personal favorite weapon for the assault class, the A280. I believe this gun is perfectly balanced throughout the assault class because it has the good range like the EL-16 and it has a pretty quick firing rate like the CR-2 but not nearly as crazy and it's shot in 3 round burst. And honestly it's pretty precise and accurate, there's not too much recoil and I personally just think it's the best gun to use for the assault class no matter what map you're on because like I said it's just well balanced all around so you can use it on Naboo or Crate or the Death Star 2, it doesn't really matter, they're all pretty good for using that gun. So next up comes the heavy class now, personally I don't use this class nearly as much as like the assault or specialist, but I still have used it quite a lot and my problem with this class is there's not much variation when it comes to the different weapon types. They all kind of work the same and fire at the same rate and just kind of feel like the same weapon. But the only real unique one in my opinion is the TL-50 which has that secondary fire which is a pretty cool feature and I really do like using it. But in my opinion the best gun for the heavy class is going to have to be the DC-17 LE. Now this weapon has a pretty quick firing rate and while there's a lot of recoil it does have an attachment which allows it to be reduced. So if you get that attachment it can be quite a good weapon to use. And speaking of attachments, this weapon also has an explosive shot modification, which makes this weapon super deadly. Now, some of you might remember like months ago, there was that exploit for the explosive shot attachment for this gun where, I mean, you can take out Darth Vader in like three or four seconds of hitting him with it. It just did so much damage and honestly, it was pretty annoying and people were super mad. But luckily it has been nerfed, but not nerfed too much to where it makes it useless. It is still a pretty good weapon attachment. Personally, I don't use it because I like having real precise shots because this one, with the explosive shot not only does it make it overheat a lot quicker it also adds a ton of recoil to it so that's just not the way i like to go with things but i do know that a lot of people like the tl50 just because of how unique it is and it is iden versia's weapon and was featured in battlefront 2015 but personally it's just not my taste i feel like it has way too much recoil and just pretty much isn't for me i really do like the dc 17 le a lot more so next up is the class that i feel like everyone hates just because i always see posts on reddit talking about how they need to nerf the officer class they did nerf the class a little bit but he's still pretty good but not way overpowered like he used to be so this class has some pretty good guns going for it. The S5 is almost like a sniper at like medium to somewhat long ranges because it does a ton of damage and has pretty long range. But the problem with this weapon is it's super slow firing rate. It's a fun gun to use, but personally, I don't feel like it's worth it, especially because it overheats quite quickly. But everyone has their own opinions on this. The unanimous favorite has to be the Blurg. This gun at one time was basically an assault weapon. They did nerf it though, but it still stands as one of the best in the game. The Blurg has a high 3 round burst firing rate, and it does quite a lot of damage too, and it also helps that the recoil isn't too bad on it. And then like the DC-17 LE, 
it has an explosive shot modification, but it's not nearly as effective as the heavies version. So I personally do not use that attachment. But what I do use is the four shot burst mod. This really takes the blaster to the next level. Though it only gives off one more shot per burst, it's enough to take out troopers in one shot if you get them in the head most of the time. Now the SC44 is really similar to the Blurg, but I just don't find it as powerful, so I usually won't use that over the Blurg. So that was the best weapon for the officer class. Now the final class is the specialist. And I think it's no surprise that the NT-242 is the best sniper in this category. I mean, you can one-shot people on the head with this thing. And while it does a ton of damage, it does have quite a lot of recoil as well as it overheats pretty quickly. I believe you can only get three shots off before you have to recool it, which is completely understandable considering how much damage the weapon does do. But there is a modification for it that allows you to get, I believe, four or maybe even five shots off with the cooling mod. So while it does have those few negatives about it, if you're pretty good in aim in this game, you can actually use a star card that resets the cooling on the gun with every headshot you get, and this will make it one of the best guns in the game overall, because especially on maps like Crate or even Geonosis, if you're pretty good at getting headshots on people, you can just keep firing over and over again, because with that star card, it'll just reset the cooling. So personally, this is the gun that you use most in this game, simply because of those factors. There is a few people calling for it to be nerfed, but honestly, I think it's okay, because with the amount of recoil it has as well as the cooling state it is in, I think you have to be a pretty decently skilled player to be able to use this gun effectively, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on that down below. But those are my top guns for each class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Again, these are just my opinion. I know everyone's got their own favorite guns. So let me know your list down below in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and leave a like. It really does help things out. And if you're new, subscribe for more Star Wars news, gameplay, and more. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one.